Do you want to be successful in life, especially in the field of self-discovery? If your answer is yes, then the most important quality to develop is discipline, self-discipline. Without self-restraint, you will fall into the 97% majority who have no goals in life. If you want to attain goals, you have to be self-disciplined. The motivational speaker Jim Rohn said, discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. Now that's really good. So what is self-discipline? It's embracing both a controlled behavior and a controlled way of thinking for the kind of objective that you desire to attain. And these objectives are of two kinds. One is material, like how to be rich, famous, and popular. And the other is spiritual, how to become self-realized. Now, while my focus is on self-realization, the importance of discipline and the qualities of disciplined people are the same for both material and spiritual objectives. So, why is self-discipline important? Here are three reasons. First, discipline creates habit good habit, in the absence of which we become lazy and you get nowhere with laziness. The next discipline keeps you focused. Our world is full of distractions. Discipline keeps our eyes on the goal. And the last is that self-discipline builds both self-respect and work ethic. Disciplined people do things well. They're proud of quality results and when you're about quality, then you have reason to feel increased self-worth and self-esteem. So, what are the actual qualities of self-disciplined people? I concentrate on the following three. The first is that they commit to routine. Self-discipline will mean routine, and there's no getting away from that. For example, I've been chanting the same mantra on these same beads for 50 years, and I've learned to love it. The second is the real challenge. Disciplined people avoid temptation. They don't succumb to the allurements of external distractions or even of the partial benefits of their journey. This is achieved by ensuring that educated intelligence is in full control of the mind, emotions, and senses. And finally, disciplined folks live by deadlines while keeping their eye on the goal. The Vedas say, for example, that yogis set their sights and keep their sights on the Supreme Transcendence Vishnu. In Sanskrit, this is Om Tad Vishnu Paramam Pada Sada Pashanti Shuraya Devya Vyachakshura Atmanam. The list of disciplined people who attained amazing results is endless. Bill Gates, Albert Einstein, Richard Branson, and Charlie Theron are some. But there's no list of the non-discipline. To conclude, self-discipline for material attainment has one downside. The result is temporary. But on the path of self-realization, the result is never lost, even with death. Therefore, if you want to cultivate self-discipline, make sure that aside from material goals, you have a spiritual goal. You need material goals to get through life, but to attain the purpose of life, you need the spiritual goal of self-realization. And to become self-realized, you need to be disciplined in bhakti yoga and mantra meditation. As my spiritual master said, self-discipline is the training by which you no longer identify with the body and mind that you inhabit. Thanks very much. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram.